on your harrowing last night. Good work. Maybe it's the body build or something. Uh, oh, they're found in all circles throughout Thedas. Groups of enchanters who hold similar viewpoints, who band together to make their voices heard. The most influential fraternity are the Equitarians. They are moderates and believe in a code of conduct that all mages should adhere to. Then there are the Chantry apologists, the loyalists. The Chantry says something and they follow it to the letter. The Lucrosians just want to make money. And the isolationists would like us all to be hermits and live on an island. Then of course there are the Libertarians. They want more power for the circle, more autonomy. If I had to, I'd say I was an Equitarian, but I ducked out of the fray a long time ago. Most of the senior enchanters are Equitarians, Irving, Wynne, Sweeney. Ulrid's a Libertarian, and a loud one at that. Ah, mages have enough opposition from the outside without tearing our circles apart with infighting. But what can you do? Fair enough. Good day to you. X right there. Huh. Not sure, but let's continue on. Now there's something here, though. moved out of the apprentice's dormitory and resettled in your new quarters. Tranquil will move your belongings to the upper deck. Go on, take your place. There is the guy I like. Greetings. I'm I glad your harrowing went well. Hmm. I am Cullen. I was to strike the killing blow if you had uh, become an abomination. I am glad you didn't. Let's see if I can flirt with them. Let's see. Some Templars I know discuss such things with glee. I don't share their enthusiasm. I try to serve the Maker first and foremost. As long as I am guided by his commandments, I cannot go wrong. Honestly, I've never seen an abomination, or been called on to slay one. Hmm. Gregor would have guided me. Something must happen. But what if it's not obvious? Could abominations be walking among us right now? This is still new to me. Maybe one day I'll be as dedicated and driven as Knight Commander Gregor. You must be busy. Perhaps we can talk another time. Oh, that wasn't a option, but if you play as a female mage, um, you can flirt with him, and it seems like there had been something going on between the two. At least that's what it seemed to me. So I was hoping I can do the same with the male character, but apparently you cannot do so. You can with um, Alistair, though. So that's always fun to try, even though that never goes anywhere either, but still interesting. I wonder how the King's army fares at Arthgar. I've heard talk of a new blight. Okay, so... Um, okay, some more things I can look through. 
take everything, of course. Books. Okay, there we go. I like finding all the hidden stuff everywhere. Ah, this is infuriating. Another batch destroyed. Say, have you seen a Wayne? Is he in the stockroom? I suppose I'll have to go check myself. I hope he still has some cinnabar lying around. When I asked last week, he said he was running out. Let's talk to Yora. You're not going to keep the first enchanter waiting, are you? Okay, so let's try and figure out where the one guy is. Already, no, haven't been in here yet. If you want, I can go through the um, codexes where you can pause it and read it on the screen. However, there may be a, like websites and stuff dedicated to the information, so you can still find them on those, I think. Okay, you should be in the next room, if the arrow is anything to go by. Yeah, he is, so let's go on. Many have already gone to Ostagar. Win. Aldred, and most of the senior mages. We've committed enough of our own to this war effort. Your own? <laughs> Since when have you felt such kinship with the mages, Gregor? Or are you afraid to let the mages out from under Chantry supervision, where they can actually use their maker-given powers? How dare you suggest? Gentlemen, please. Irving, someone is here to see you. Ah, if it isn't our new brother in the circle. Come, child. This is... Yes, this is he. Well, Irving, you're obviously busy. We will discuss this later. Of course. Well, then, where was I? Oh, yes, this is Duncan. Of the Grey Wardens. There is something else, but I wanted you to meet Duncan first. You've heard about the war brewing to the south, I expect. Duncan is recruiting mages to join the King's army at Ostagar. Of course not. I wished to congratulate you on a successful end to last night's ordeal. The harrowing is behind you. Your phylactery was sent to Denerim. You are officially a mage within the circle of Magi. You may not remember, but blood was taken from you when you first came to us. This blood is preserved within the phylactery. So they can be hunted if they turn apostate. We have few choices. The gift of magic is looked upon with suspicion and fear. We must prove we are strong enough to handle our power responsibly. You have done this. I present you with your robes, your staff, and a ring bearing the circle's insignia. Wear them. Proudly, for you have earned them. It goes without saying that you shall not discuss the harrowing with those who have not undergone the rite. Now then, take your time to rest, or study in the library. The day is yours. I will return to my quarters. Would you be so kind as to escort Duncan back to his room, child?
shot. Being difficult, are we? You are an apprentice no longer. I expect you to set a good example. The guest quarters are on the east side of this floor, close to the library. Now, if you'll both excuse me, I have matters to discuss with Gregor. Let's see. There's something over here. There we go. As for not telling anyone about the harrowing, too late for that since I already told Jowen. Move along now. Let's see. Um Oh, he's keeping up with me. I was trying to lose him. Okay, so... Here we go. Thank you for escorting. Is there something else I can do for you? I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Kaelin's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Hmm. I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Mages heal. They can call fire and ice down upon the enemy, and so much more. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. <laughs> ah, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. Hmm. <laughs> you are too kind. Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Our duty is to battle Darkspawn wherever they appear. We are elves, humans, and dwarves united by this common purpose. Some of our most honored wardens have been elves. The hero, Garahel, the last warden to slay an archdemon, was one such. The Darkspawn threaten everyone. They do not distinguish between the races, and neither should we. Has being an elf in the circle been difficult? It is hard to change perceptions. I've tried to reason with many, and failed. If one has always seen elves as less than human, it's hard to imagine them as something else. A good attitude, though be careful not to take it too far. A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an archdemon is leading the horde. Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but archdemons are capable of rallying the Darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of Darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. We can't seem to eradicate them completely. Somehow they always come back. The 
They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. It is not my place to comment. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. The Chantry believes that a mage should fear his power. It was the pride of mages, they say, that brought the Darkspawn upon us in the first place. Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? He is a good man. I respect the strength of his convictions. Of course. Don't let me keep you. Well, that was interesting. Uh oh. Time for this quest, I guess. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? sure we're not overheard. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. We should be safe here. A few months ago, I told you that I'd met a girl. This is Lily. Uh, 